So yeah, all this, are you sorry you weren't providing it? Yeah, some of us are, because you know, next thing he's going to do is lock kids up in cages. Nope. Oh, he's going to call the big, the biggest uh, movement since the civil rights movement a bunch of thugs. Nope, someone else did that too. Oh, when the lead of the KKK endorses him, he's not going to instantly say he's a bad person or a piece of shit. Because he doesn't want to lose the votes. No, someone else did that. Before they even got elected the first time. Oh, when a little girl gets ran over by a racist... Uh, at a protest. He's not going to instantly go after that guy. He's going to say there was bad people on both sides. Not the piece of shit that ran over the kid was a piece of shit. No. Oh, I get it. He's going to encourage his followers, his diehard do-whatever-he-wants followers, to storm a government building, threaten government officials, and call it insurrection, or call it a protest. And because, you know, if they were a different shade, it'd be called terrorism. You break into a government building and threaten government officials. That's textbook terrorism. Am I missing something? Okay, no... Oh, I get it. When there's a public uh, crisis, biggest um, health hazard in generations, where every doctor and scientist on the planet says, putting a mask over your face will help, he's going to encourage people not to. Leading to death of thousands, millions. Well, thousands. I'll be generous. No, someone else did that. Oh, when someone else wins a fair election where everybody else, everybody in the world is saying it's fair, he's going to say it's fake, get everything re recounted, and they're going to be grateful to do so again and again and again and again, and still have his followers thinking it's fake, even though everybody, everybody that works for it says it wasn't, because you know, America wasn't built on democracy. Every other president that ever was didn't instantly say, You're okay, I lost, here you go. Except for the fact that they did. And he's going to try to deport people just because their parents, before they were born, caught him, uh, bro snuck them into the country. People that wasn't born in the, but wasn't born anywhere else doesn't know the language of where they're getting sent. Yeah, send them. No, that was someone else, too. Oh, someone when he sees the KKK and the Stars and Bars at his rallies isn't going to say a thing. Nope, someone else did that numerous times. Oh, someone go that's going to pull us out of protecting one of our allies, even though they're the ones that helped us. Get the one good thing he helped us get the one person that we've been trying to get. And the one thing that he that happened that was good when he was president. No, he's going to completely uh, push them aside just because they can't be of help no more. No, someone else did that too. Oh. A country that's been his ally for years and years and years. He's going to build a wall in, uh, between the two countries. And force them to build it just because some people from that country is looking for a better life. Because, you know, there's not like you have, you, they, there's a giant statue in front of one of your biggest cities that says, bring us, you're tired, you're hungry, you're, I don't know the entire line, but if you're American, you should know this. Nope, someone else did that too. And So, should you guys just... Scratch out that on the Statue of Liberty, since it, you guys don't follow that anymore. Just take that off the Statue of Liberty. Instead, change it to, bring us, you're tired, you're hungry, but only if they're white. Because that's kind of what Trump's been saying for years. So yeah, is are people sorry that we voted for Jim Biden? No. Is he doing everything he promised? No. 
but it was a two, but it was between A or B. A quoted Hitler on a regular basis. B is owned by big business. Yeah, we don't want Hitler in the White House. <laughs>